Good day everyone. My name is Vince and welcome to my vlog. Uh, today, uh, we're going to uh, set up a new device which is called a wireless and Wi-Fi repeater. Wireless and Wi-Fi repeater. It says here, more range for every WLAN network. It is a Wi-Fi repeater. It will extend your Wi-Fi coverage uh, at a wider uh, distance. It will open. And this is what it looks like. Wi-Fi repeater. This is the Wi-Fi repeater. This is the one. Simple. Along with it, there's a LAN cable. This is having a LAN port, a reset LAN port, a reset push button, and a plug, and some indication, LED indication, and then the WPS uh, push button. This one. You will, along with it, you'll have a cable and some uh, plugs which you can uh, actually this one you can remove depending on which country you are in you can replace it accordingly so to cut the story short i will use this device to convert my wired network into a wireless network so this device you'll be able to convert your wired network into a wireless network which is your Wi-Fi and you'll be able to uh, extend the range uh, the other the other application is you can you'll be able to extend the range of your Wi-Fi so now we're going to set up this device uh, we have a manual we will just follow through the manual and uh, hopefully we will be able to, to uh, set up this device first we will try to set up as a repeater like uh, Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi. You will expand your Wi-Fi network coverage. Then the second configuration is uh, you will convert your wired network to a wireless network into Wi-Fi so that uh, your uh, phone and your wireless device will be able to access the internet to, through this one. So right now, uh, we plug in the device. You can see the LED, our LED and the wireless uh, network, Wi-Fi network uh, LED. It means it's already transmitting uh, uh, information wirelessly. Uh, with this uh, situation, you should be able to see the wireless repeater on your uh, desktop, or maybe you can also see it, see this one on your uh, uh, mobile devices. We're going to open our desktop. Check the network if it's available. So this is the one Wi-Fi repeater. You have to connect to this one. This this uh, Wi-Fi repeater. So you'll have to connect to this repeater Wi-Fi repeater. Connect. It will be. Uh, it will require no password. It will redirect you directly to this uh, uh, website. The browser browser will open. Uh, password. Admin username is admin default one and uh, password at the same thing. So from here, you can configure your repeater. You can either configure using access point or repeater. Access point, you're just uh, converting your wired network into a wireless network so that your devices, your wireless your devices can be able to access your uh, internet. And you can use, uh, you can also set it up as a repeater. Wireless to wireless, Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi. It's like creating a new Wi-Fi out of your Wi-Fi so that it will extend the range of the existing Wi-Fi. Okay, so first uh, well, I want to try this one repeater. We will try to configure the device as a repeater first. It will scan all the wireless network, all the Wi-Fi network around you. So right now we have some, several uh, Wi-Fi uh, SSID on my building so uh, this one this is my Wi-Fi I will just uh, select this one the Lima 
I will select this one. I will extend this uh, wire wireless uh, SSD. This is my current uh, wireless now, Wi-Fi. I will extend this one. So connect to the Lima, the repeater SSID. So this is my repeater SSID. It will assign automatically. You can also rename this one. You can rename it uh, as you like, but I will just leave it uh, like that because it's okay. It's uh, it's understandable the ID it given uh, the Lima underscore EXT meaning extension or extender, and then the security ID. You need the security ID of this uh, the Lima the existing uh, Wi-Fi network. So you need to enter the the password. You need to enter the password of this uh, uh, network existing network. So. I'll just enter my uh, password. Like it will try to apply new configuration, new setup. Once it will be completed, you will be able to see the difference. Okay. Okay. So this web server is gone now. You will not be able to access now because what happened is that the wireless what is that Wi-Fi repeater network Angry. is 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 replaced now with the Lima underscore EXT. It is it got renamed to a new one, so you will not be able to access this one if you could try to connect. You will try to see what is there. If you'll be I see you can't connect to this network. Close. So. This is our new one now, the extended wireless network. This is the extended wireless network you'll be able to connect. And after connecting, you should be able to connect to the Delima wireless network also. And the Delima is able to access the wire, wire, wireless, uh, I mean the, the internet. It will be able to access the internet. So now connected, secured, we'll try if we'll have an internet now. YouTube. Yes, it's online now. You have uh, you have internet now. That's how it is. You're on the same network as your existing Wi-Fi. That is good. That is a main advantage. And if you want to reset to default or to manufacturing settings again, you'll just press reset button for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It will be resetted to the manufacturing uh, default. Okay, after resetting our device, we should be able to see that Wi Fi repeater again. Okay, see, this is an unconfigured or uh, as, as per manufacturer when, when it delivered to us Wi-Fi repeater it should uh, pop up to your uh, wireless uh, selection default settings now after resetting now again you will connect connect now this time we will uh, configure this device and an ac as an access point so again the same password then access point so we will be converting a wired network into a wireless network so your mobile devices your wireless devices will be able to access the internet so this is the option SSID Wi-Fi repeater repeater you can put a new name SSID wire to Wa wireless access point access point okay so channel auto security you can disable or you can also put a WPA2 PS key which is the most common uh, security type you can enter the password you can enter the password like for example uh, Password. The password is password. 
the password is password apply so we will be we are converting now a wired network to a wireless network okay now it's good you're not uh, now you cannot be access the ms connect or that uh, the web server because the ssid uh, this one is replaced with a new one now let's see you cannot connect now where is the new one okay this is the new wireless okay you cannot connect so this is we have now the new wireless uh, this one wire to wireless access point it's converting a wire to wireless network so now we need a cable from your wired network from there we'll get the wire connection from that uh, device from that wired uh, device to up to here so this is the cable oh, this is my wi-fi it's having also a wired and wired network wired and or an wireless network this is one of the switch here you can either connect your laptop here directly so I'll be converting this wired network this wire network to a wireless network I'll connect this one I'll connect this one here so that's how it is now so it is now connected to my this is their main source this is my main source of the internet so now after connecting that uh, LAN cable where is my access point then I should connect this one wire to wireless okay connect automatically no problem okay connect now it's requesting us to enter the password so our password we created password again password next so we are now connected to wire to wireless access point we are now connected and we should be able to go online now now we have internet so the main source of my internet came from that uh, switch from there then wire nice. to my repeater this one and it transmit a wireless network then i connected my laptop to that wireless network from there that's all so that's it uh, we completed the, our uh, two types of setup for this device uh, hopefully it uh, gives you some idea how to uh, use the device it is very useful actually i'll be using it in my uh, at my work to it's like uh, i'm excited to use this uh, this type of devices i have several several of these devices i want to convert actually the wired network we have uh, into a wireless i don't want to to put uh, several multiple cable at, at my uh, workplace uh, or in the industrial application I don't know if it's possible to use this one in an industrial uh, environment but uh, hopefully we can uh, we'll try we'll try an experiment we'll see how it will uh, how it will uh, uh, behave on in an industrial environment yeah. Wi-Fi repeater thanks for watching